Shot blocked from behind by Gordon. Oh, what a rejection that time by Wesley Gordon. Quick pass, alley-oop off court, right side. He flies, he grabs, and he jams. Jerron Hawkins up there in the stratosphere, and the Buffs are on top by seven. Oh, what a highlight reel jam. Hi again, and welcome to the Buffalo Stampede. I'm Mark Johnson of 850 KOA Radio, your play-by-play voice of the Buffs, as we're joined today in the program by Dustin Thomas, a sophomore out of Texarkana, Texas, as the Buffs are now three games deep in a Pac-12 conference play. They knocked off UCLA and USC at home, and then went on the road for a loss at Utah. Now it's back on the road this week after a weekend off at number nine, Arizona and Arizona State coming up this weekend. Uh, Dustin, let's uh, talk about kind of the beginning of the season. That was an awful nice homestand for the Buffaloes, getting a win over UCLA and and then a lopsided win over USA. For them two games, uh, we just wanted to come in and be strong going into conference. Uh, we had a bad preseason going 7-5. and five. Nobody really agreed with how that ended. Nobody felt like we should be a 7-5 and five team. So the new year coming in, it was just it was a new season. We wanted to come in and just start fresh and get everything together. Yeah, talk about that seven and five non-conference slate. It's interesting the way you described that. This team was obviously not satisfied with the way you guys played in non-conference play. At all, um, we lost a couple of games that we shouldn't have lost. Uh, we lost a couple of close ones that we shouldn't have lost, and we definitely lost one at home that we definitely didn't want to lose. Um, everybody's disappointed in that. Everybody wants to pick it up and show everybody that we can. And the Buffs really did that, opening up with a 62-56 win over UCLA, a team the Buffaloes had never beaten, by the way, in Pac-12 conference play. It was kind of a new start, or a fresh start, then when conference play rolls around. What was good for the Buffaloes in that ball game against the Bruins? Just the energy. Um, we came out with a we came out with high energy. Everybody was playing good, up tempo, and. Uh, it just felt like Colorado basketball. It just felt like we was getting back to ourselves. And you had to do that without Josh Scott. He sat out, in fact, both of those games against the L.A. schools with, with back spasms. When you get a guy like Josh that sits out, does everyone kind of have a feeling in the locker room like we all got to pick it up a little bit? Everybody knows we got to pick it up. He's a big he's a big loss for our team. He's a big impact on our team, and everybody knows we got to step it up in that. Buffs turn around with an 86-65 win, then over USC over the weekend. Lopsided ball game. Big game for this guy right here by the way, career high 17 points. Uh, first about the contest. What was uh, going on with the Buffaloes in that ball game? You guys really seem to have a good offensive flow against USC. Yeah, um, we was working hard that, that week in practice. Um, everybody came in focused. We was down Josh again. And, I mean, it was just another game. We had to approach it like another game. Uh, everybody came in and played hard. It was good seeing the ball come out of your hand the way it was in that ball game. He had 17 points, a career high, three of three from outside the arc. It was a nice breakout game for you. It definitely was. Um, I just felt comfortable out there. I got back to myself, got back in my rhythm. And, I mean, I was just playing basketball. Has it been frustrating? Because I, I know what kind of shooter you are. I'm around this team enough. I've talked with Tad enough. He, he talks about mapping out or, or recording what you guys do in practice. He's always said Dustin's a very good shooter. It, was it a little frustrating that it hadn't come sooner than this? Definitely. Um, I've been looking for that one game where I could just get out of that slump. And, I mean, I took advantage. Yeah. Um, I got open looks, and every time I got open look, I shot it with confidence. And that's what I got to do. Kind of change your, your mindset, if you will? Yeah. Um, yeah. When you're out there playing and you're in the game for a lot of minutes, I mean, I was playing a lot more minutes than I usually been playing. You get comfortable, you get the feel of the game, and it just comes to you. As that ball was dropping, were guys on the team encouraging you to keep shooting? Definitely. They, was kept, they kept passing it to me, telling me to keep shooting. <laughs> well, I know, and that's one thing, too. Even when that ball wasn't dropping, you, you still had the support of your teammates, didn't definitely, you? Definitely. Yeah. Uh, the Buffaloes in went on the road and uh, lose in a lopsided contest against a top-10 team in Utah and Salt Lake City. First road trip in Pac-12. Yeah. Utah, very good team. You, know, you guys were down. Uh, Xavier Johnson got dinged up in that ball game. Josh Scott had foul trouble. Skia Booker had foul trouble in the first half. The first half, you guys hung in there against Utah. Yeah, um, first half we came out. We was hanging with them. We played good D. We shouldn't have traded baskets with them like we did for the first couple of possessions. But I think we played hard the first half. And then the second half, we, like you said, we were down XJ. Uh, Ski was in trouble. Josh was in trouble. I mean, I, everything just kind of fell apart. We, it didn't look like we was out there playing together and it looked like we was comfortable. It just looked like we was out there throwing the ball around, making pointless mistakes, and that's what we can't have. Those mistakes, uh, Dustin, have been too much of an issue here for the Buffaloes. 18 turnovers yeah. in, in that ball game. That number's been a little bit high here the last five, six games, hasn't it? Definitely. Um, that's something we've been focusing on, something coaches have been talking about. Everybody knows we got to fix that, mm -hmm. and everybody knows 
they got to bring it and not turn the ball over. After uh, a game against your travel partner in Utah, you guys had the weekend off, a little more practice maybe. Is that something you guys were able to work on? Definitely. Uh, these last few days of practice, Coach got us good practice plans, good practices, and we've just been going hard. He talked to a few of us, um, and it's just – I think we're going to be ready going into Arizona. Well, I was going to say that the road doesn't get any easier. After a top 10 game last week against Utah, it's Arizona coming off a loss to Oregon State last week up in Corvallis. Mm -hmm. But you're at another top 10 team. And this Arizona thing's become a bit of a rivalry between Colorado and the Wildcats. Definitely. Um, we don't really like them, but we respect their program. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't like them because they came in here and they handled business at our home court and at their home court last year. And um, we got to respect that. And we're going in this year for – for a comeback. We're coming back for everything. You're going to see us on the court playing hard, diving for the ball, and we're going to be out there playing. You guys like, or you personally maybe like, kind of these high profile games? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a good opportunity for us. It's a big stage, it's big games, and we just got to come out and perform. All right, keep up the good work. Appreciate it. All right, that's sophomore Dustin Thomas. He and the Buffaloes at number nine, Arizona. On Thursday night, we will hit the air at 6.05 with Buffs warm-up to tip off just after 7 o'clock. Yours truly, along with Scott Wilkie. For Dustin Thomas, I'm Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us here in the Buffalo Stampede. We'll talk to you next time.